Okay guys, welcome back to another tutorial and in today's tutorial we're going to be learning how to make a very simple button animation. So whenever you hover over a button or you click it, it kind of will look like you're actually pushing it down and then lifting off it. So the button will increase, will decrease in size and then increase in size a little bit. So let's go ahead and do that. We can jump into Unity. So I'm just going to be using the um, the project that we used in the previous tutorial and that was how to say, well, how to transfer data from one scene to the other. Um, it's got a couple of buttons on each scene, so we're just going to use that for now. We're not going to really change anything or use any code or anything. So everything is done um, pretty much in the Unity editor uh, on this here. So all I've done um, extra from that tutorial is imported a, a background for our button that we're going to use. It's very uh, very simple. It All it is is a... It is a little, oh, let me show you, let me pull it up here, so if I open this, it, all it is, is a PNG picture that looks like this, um, it's just a background of a button, that's pretty much it. Uh, so that's what we're going to be using, we're going to replace our current buttons with that. So let's go and start that, we'll probably only do this in the first scene because we, there's, no really, there's no point in doing it in the second scene because it's exactly the same. But for now let's go ahead and on our buttons, we'll select both of them and we will drag in this button um, picture for that uh, into our source image on our image component on each button so now you can see that the it's updated in our um, editor uh, but we can go and uh, take the color off of that so we'll put that to white so we can actually see it so that is the button now so if we play this you'll see um, just I, I think it's just gonna be like a color color difference whenever you hover or press the button so whenever you hover over it, you can just see the color changes, and that that's because we've we've updated the color over here. And then, yeah. So whenever you press it, you don't really see anything. But we don't want to, we don't want that. We want to see something happen, so it looks like it's actually been pressed. So first of all, let's go ahead and select both of them. You don't really need to, but we're just going to do them both at the same time. Uh, we're going to go ahead and change the transition of the button from color tint to animation. And then we are going to press um, auto generate animator here and in here we are going to save this as button pressed and we are going to say uh, save. We could probably make a, a, a new folder called animations just to keep our project tidy. So we will save that in that folder so there it is. So we have got a new animation here called button pressed. So if we select um, where is it? So if we go here and select both our buttons here we can go, well let's not do that. So let's go ahead and open this one. <coughs> Wait, let's go back to game. So here, where is it? Button here. Where is our animator? Okay. So here on, because our animations only been added to our scene 2 button, let's go ahead and do it on there and then we can copy it onto the next one. So for now, we'll go onto our scene 2 button and in here you can see our animation uh, window here. If you don't have that, go up to the top and go to the window tab and you can access that by going to the animation and what is it, animation, clicking in there. So if you, if you don't have that, go ahead and do that. But for now, let's go and change this to um, pressed. So well, let's go ahead and start with um, highlight. I think it's highlighted for um, like a hover. Let's we'll we'll try that now. So let's press the record button, and in here, whenever we uh, hover over it, we want to go ahead and scale it down. So from one, we'll go and say 0 0.9 maybe, um, and that's on the x-axis. And then on the y-axis, we also want to say uh, 0 0.9. I think yeah. So that's fine. And I think that's it. So if we go ahead and play this, uh, whenever we hover over our scene 2 button, which is this one on the right, we hopefully will see that it. Did I press it? So whenever we. Yeah, so there. Whenever you hover over it, it kind of like shrinks into it, into. Like makes it a bit smaller. So that's cool. Uh, so let's go ahead and do the exact same thing when we press it. Well, I don't think we could probably just. So we make it even smaller. So let's change this. So if we go on to press or highlight it here, 
select highlighted and we'll select these and we'll change this from 0 0.9 to 0 0.95 maybe and also 0 0.9 to 0 0.95 uh, we can make that probably make that smaller so let's go 0 0.97 maybe so we'll save that let's go see what that looks like so uh, just because I, when we actually press the button I want to make it look like it's like shrinks even more but we don't want to shrink the button so much that you can't really see it so let's hover yeah so that's fine so whenever we hover it we get the slight little shrink effect so that looks good and when we press it, we'll, we'll start off and see what, what looks better. So let's go and select our scene 2 animation, or scene 2 button there. And we'll, instead of our highlighter, we'll go and press on pressed. And then we will start recording this. And then we will change the scale to, not 2 because that's way too big. Uh, so a normal scale is 1, so let's go 1.2 maybe. Uh, maybe that's even a bit too big. So let's go 1.2. 1 and then on the y axis we'll also go 1.1 maybe 1.15 just to make it a little bit bigger so let's go ahead and play our game and see if that looks even if that looks better or how this looks so we should still have this hover effect so we still have a hover effect so when we press it we, our button like pretty much does the opposite and increases so that that looks good you could also do it the opposite way and you could also say let's go back to your pressed and instead of saying um, make it bigger you could obviously make it smaller so let's say 0.9 well 0.8 by 0.8 so we'll play that and let's have a look and see which one looks better so if we hover over scene 2 or Hover over scene 2, it shrinks a little bit, and if we press it, it kind of, well, that's a big difference, but yeah, you can see, you can either make it scale up or scale down, uh, just depends what your preference is, uh, but for now, let's go and add this onto the rest of them, so we'll add in here a animator component on, is it an animator or is it animation, so yeah, animator, so on the add button over this over here we're going to go select it and we're going to add a new component of type animator uh, onto that and then we will drag in our button pressed onto them like that so that's cool so let's see if this works so now we should get the same scale effect for both of our buttons whenever we hover over them so we have it on a scene 2 and we have it on our scene or we have it on, we have the hover one on our scene 2 button and we don't well there there we go so it was just a bit delayed so there we go we have both of our, our button effects on it on both our buttons so if we press on one of them it um, makes it a bit smaller or well, a lot smaller and if we hover over it it just shrinks it slightly uh, but yeah that is how you make a very very small and very easy button animation uh, hopefully you enjoy that. If you did, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and look out for some extra tutorials coming um, during the week. We have new videos. Well, I have new videos coming out every Monday, went or well, Monday to Friday. Uh, most of them, should I say? I do miss a video every now and then. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and like this video. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.